Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at using contact inside MixGraft from the very beginning. So let's have a look at loading contact into MixGraft. If we go to VSTI Instruments and scroll down a little bit, you notice we have three different contacts. Contact 5, Contact 5 16 out and Contact 5 8 out. Now apparently the 8 out and 16 out are from way back when there were real RAM issues with computers and uh, you would use these to save yourself. Contact 5 loads virtually everything but you're probably going to want to change that anyway so and that's what's recommended by the uh, NE forums for uh, loading it these days. So that's what we'll do. Okay, now let's have a look at the contact UI. You notice right now there's nothing in here. That means if I press any keys, it ain't going to make a sound. So we need to load instruments or libraries into there. Now there's several ways to do that. Number one is the libraries tab. And uh, this is the way, if you have, happen to have a contact player, this is the only way that you can load uh, libraries in. And just so you know, the uh, developer pays a premium to be able to load these into the official library tab. So pick a library, and you can either move it down here, your choice down here, move it here, or you can just double click it and up it comes. So now we have something to play. And you see it's all very nicely coded. You have your key switches over here and the notes that you can actually play over there. Now, there's a different way, we'll get rid of this one, that we can load instruments in, it's from the files library. And this, you actually go into the file system, and uh, you can see I have contract libraries, and these are all the different instruments that I have. Some of them are free, some of them I've had to pay for, but these are not available unless you have the full version of contact. So you can't play these on, on the contact player. But I have something in here called dumpster percussion that I'm going to be using in a project. So I'll show you how we can load that. And it's the same way. You just you find your instruments. And sometimes you have to search around a bit because they're not very organized. And I want dumpster lids here. So let's we'll move that over there. And there we go. And I have something really cool here. Actually, I'm going to need this, so I'm going to keep it for a while. I need that specific sound. You'll hear that later at some point. But now we'll talk about a third way that you can load instruments into your UI, and that is from the Quick Load button. Now when you first get to contact, this is going to be empty. And what I do, and what everybody does, is you take instruments, and I'm going to take the dumpster lids here, and move it over here. And you can see, there it is, dumpster lids. Now when I want to load that, I don't have to go searching through the whole file system because I have it right at the click of a mouse here. And there it is again. We'll talk more about this in the next video I do concerning uh, automation. But for right now, that's how you load instruments into the contact and how to use them. 
Now, a couple other things that you might want to contact is a very powerful and very frustrating library. And uh, I'm going to hit it up there. There we go. There's a couple of rules that you need to follow. Uh, because you can crash the contact UI, which will usually take Mixcraft with it nowadays. Up to the point of uh, contact 5.3, the, the contact would crash inside Mixcraft, but Mixcraft would be all right. Now contact takes it with it. So you have to be a little bit careful. And I found, for myself at least, that there's a lot of crashes that happen because of user error. So I'm going to load up something really heavy here. You can watch what's happening here. I'm going to load up uh, one of Kirk Cutter's French horn patches here, which takes quite a while. Now, uh, realize that this is loading from an SSD, and it's a 3930K, so it's pretty fast. It should load pretty fast. But watch how long it takes. Here we go. Found it. Still loading. Still loading. Still loading. Still loading. Still loading and still loading. And still loading, and still loading, and it keeps on coming. Now, the general idea and an important thing, if you don't want to crash when this is happening, you don't want to do anything else. You don't want to do your emails. You don't want to be browsing the Internet. Because every so often an error window might come up, and you might click on it, or you might accidentally click on something in the UI here, and that's what causes crashes. So stay away from doing that. You can see that this is over a gigabyte of the uh, size. That's the size of the instrument. So uh, you have to be careful with that. And if you follow that one particular rule, you can remain pretty much crash free. And there's crashes that happen because of the library, and sometimes your instruments disappear. So it's a weird interface, but it's powerful, and you have lots and lots of libraries to use with it and uh, lots of free libraries you know like everybody and his brother who, who wants to geek around a little bit will be recording uh, like the dumpster bear or chairs or their sister singing and turn it into an instrument so all these sounds are available to you if you get the full version of contact anyway that's it for today Hope that's a bit of some help.